It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I picked up something which I thought was quite interesting in Iceland. It's part of their TGI Fridays range of foods. This is their ultimate barbecue sausage. Now, I got a little barbecue outside. I was considering kind of getting some coals and putting it on a barbecue, but then it's just me here today. I'd eat the sausage, I'd be full up, and the coals would be kind of prime for other foods. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. So, without further ado, let's have a look at this then. There's a sachet of mustard sauce. So, with the mustard sauce, um, remove all pattern, place an open sauce sachet into a bowl of hot water, place on a baking tray, 25 minutes, turn halfway through cooking time to serve. Decant the sauce into a bowl, serve alongside for dipping. Okay, so it's just a dipping sauce. It's not something that you really want to stick all over your sausage and then put it in the oven. I think it'll just burn. So let's, well, that's a look at it. it. It looks interesting, doesn't it? I mean, plastic wrapped, uh, Sausage. At least we can get rid of the plastic. At least, uh, hang on. Oh, there we go. At least it's not cooked in plastic. Blimey, look at that. Is that? That's just ice, isn't it? That's not. Blimey, neck. Is that plastic again? My hands are freezing. Trying to work out if that's plastic or just ice. Do you know what? I think it's ice. Doesn't that look like shrink wrap? It looks like booming shrink wrap. <laughs> right. Anyway, it's going in the oven for 25 minutes. Back when it's cooked. For me, this is Gas Mark 6. Back soon. Right, this ultimate barbecue sausage is done. Let's get it out the oven. Smells fantastic. Whoa! Look at that. My goodness me. I tell you what it's got about it. It's got that kind of German, I mean, look at that. It smells like a German Frankfurter. It looks like a German, Polish um, Frankfurter, kielbasa type sausage. It's huge. That's an adult sized plate. Look at that. Love me a big sausage. Great tasting. Here's the sauce. And here is, it's a mustard, mustard sauce. I'm gonna pour that there. Whoa. I mean, come on, this is just smelling great. I'm gonna grab a knife. Oh, blimey. Wow. There it is. Look at that in all this glory. It's definitely... Yeah, it's... Um, this is a like a frankfurter. Ultimate barbecue sausage. 
It looks different from the box. That makes it look like it's a British sausage. And I think you've got to be a fan. You've got to be a fan of this kind of Frankfurter type sausage. It took me a while to get into it. Um, I find the skin on a continental kind of German, Polish style sausage to be quite firm. Here's the mustard. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't call this a the ultimate frankfurter. It, it is kind of just a big German frankfurter. It's not, I was expecting like, what was I expecting? I was expecting just by looking at it, something, but then again, TGI Fridays, it's an American company and America always had these, always have, they still got them, these kind of New York style hot dog stand sausage. This is exactly what it is. So it took me a little bit of a while to work this one out. I should have got a better knife than this. Butter knife. I tell you what makes it though, this mustard sauce really, really, really makes. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's really tasty. I need a better knife. I'm going to have a look at the ingredients in a minute. I'm pretty sure it's just probably maybe just pork, maybe a little bit of beef. Mm. Yeah, it's um, cooked pork and beef sausage, 83%. So it's 47% pork and 42% beef. Pork fat, demerara sugars, salt, water, sugar, starch, all the uh, proteins and all sorts of stuff in here. Um, is it a description for that? There's no real, there's no real description. I think some people might be slightly confused by this. And I wonder how well it's going to do. For example, typical British family, do they like aim to go to a place like Lidl or Aldi to buy Frankfurters, to buy a German style sausage? I don't think they do. It's, it's a slightly confusing product. It, it certainly confused me. I've got my head around it now. American company, American style hot dog sausage, but there's no explanation. There's no description of what this is. And it was it was three pounds, so three pounds for a giant sausage. It's not I mean it's not bad money. But it's not well, yeah, it's slightly confusing. I think I think what Iceland need to do here is add a description on the front of the box to just to tell you what this is like a german style frankfurter at least so i'm ready to rate it i like a frankfurter but i know for a fact i'm not going to eat all of this
Um, I find the skin a bit too tough for my liking on a personal level. I find the skin a bit too tough. I suppose I've been brought up on processed sausage from a started off being a butcher, then it went to supermarkets. So I'm not quite, I'm not kind of used to that kind of hard shell sausage, if you know where I'm coming from. It's a different feel, it's a different taste. Nice, nice kind of meaty snack, mind you. I'd be looking to get a bit of, maybe get a bit of baguette, and put it in a baguette with loads of butter. I think that would offset that kind of crunchiness of the skin, the, 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 the crunchiness of the baguette. Um, yeah, lack of, lack of information on the box as to what this is, I think. It looks very different. It looks, it looks soft and it looks almost like, it doesn't look, okay, it doesn't look like a skinless sausage, but it doesn't look like on the box, like it's got that big, thick kind of Frankfurter type skin on the, on the sausage there. Um, and it's all EU as well, so it's probably, you know, it's come straight from Germany, this has, hasn't it? Um, rating. <coughs> I like it, but but not the greatest product from TGI Fridays. So I probably won't buy it again. Uh, it's a, for me, it's six out of 10. Six out of 10 from Real Ale Crafty. Or oh, value for money as well, three pound for this sausage. I think it's a bit pricey. It's a bit pricey. That's the reason for a 6 out of 10. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.